Kansas City Chiefs wide receiver and former SMU standout Rashi Rice was behind the wheel of one of two vehicles that triggered a chain reaction wreck along the Central Expressway Saturday evening and injured many people. Hello, I'm Steve Vigor. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. So his attorney, State Senator Royce West, speaking for the first time at a short news conference. Rice was behind the wheel of that Lamborghini SUV and Fox 4 Sean Rabb was at the news conference. Joins us now from outside Dallas Police Headquarters. Sean. Heather and uh, Royce West began the news conference by saying he knows this is an important local issue, but also one that's gained national attention. Then he told us Dallas police have already put them on alert. Charges will be filed, but he did not say what charges and he did not say when. I want to say on behalf of Mr. Rice that he has fully cooperated with the Dallas Police Department. Every question that was asked of him, he responded to. State Senator Attorney Royce West with law partner Craig Kapua at his side told us for the first time that Rushy Rice was driving one of the two vehicles that caused Saturday's violent crash. Mr. West, who was driving? Thank you, for asking, that, thank you for asking that question. Uh, during the interview, Mr. Rice acknowledged that he was driving the Lamborghini. That was the question that was asked, and he responded to that. Six cars were involved in the accident, at least four victims. Some had to go to hospitals. Photos obtained by Fox 4 from TMZ show a group of people from a Corvette belonging to Rice and the high-dollar rental SUV walking away from the crash scene without checking on the people in the other damaged vehicles. West was asked why they left the scene. It's a good question that's still being investigated, and I can't go into the particulars now, but we will. The attorney did say he reached out to Dallas police on behalf of Rice Sunday evening, and that there's been two meetings with police, one with West and the second with West and the 23-year-old Rice. West says they are continuing to work with Dallas police and now trying to connect with the victims of the crash to make them whole. No one can ever bring back to a person who has been in the accident, uh, the, help them get over the memories of being in that accident. But the fact is that we're gonna do everything within our power to do so. Wes asked that people would hold their judgment and let the facts come out and said his client clearly made a mistake. I can tell you this, but for the grace of God, someone could have been injured. I mean, seriously injured. He understands that and he appreciates it. So Royce West says he has not spoken with the Kansas City Chiefs and we have not heard from uh, Rushy Rice. That could change, possibly, according to the attorney, within the next week. But it also may depend on what type charges are filed uh, from this police department and when those come.